Hi, I'm Rory. I'm Rao. We are in Shikari. And you're watching Loudwire. First riff I learned to play probably was um, it's either yeah either Wild Thing or Smoke on the Water. Should we to play it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Better not f it up. <laughs> Vibrato, bro. Yeah. I think if any, if every electric guitarist is honest, it's it's either smoke on the water or wild things. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember which around the chords are. Is it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> like we always used to play a lot of Foo Fighters stuff. Everlong, I remember. It's somewhere up here. I haven't played it in years. Yeah, something like that anyway. Those were like the <laughs> classic chords that like yeah. all the kind of like the bands in our scene would use when like sort yeah. of like kind of post Yeah, like those ones. Those ones. Yeah. 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 It's really lush and like with a slight like somberness to it. Like, yeah. But you can still play them easily and drop D. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a sorry not a winner riff that yeah, pretty much classic, like, yeah. I you know I don't know if we would be in the same position we are now if it wasn't for that riff. I guess yeah, sorry not is probably like the first proper riff riff, isn't it? I think. Yeah, it was like the first thing we properly <laughs> released when we. I uh, met Ian, our manager, and stuff. Well, if we go back slightly before that, that, for some reason it just popped into my head, but like, so when we were hybrid, there was a. Did, did, had you joined when we started playing Honesty Box? Or was that. I, I think that was that was before I joined. Yeah. Well, I can re I remember writing that riff and I was like, "Damn, that's a riff." So it's that like is a riff. And just like yeah, it was just like total head banging like <laughs> yeah. thing. Been enjoying snake fit riff. Right. them riffs that just makes you want to kick someone in the face. Isn't yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think there was like a particular artist that inspired us to in include all, you know, all sorts of music that we've been exposed to. But I think it was just the case that like our local scene was quite competitive and you had to like really carve out your a name for yourself and a, and a kind of something that would be immediately recognisable as, as you. Um, which was cool because at the time when we were coming up, there was a lot of bands that just sounded like their favourite bands. We were just always kind of confused, I think, by bands that had one sound and just stuck to it. I think Radiohead should probably be given like a, a bigger shout. Like I think for for both of us, they were actually I could I probably could have answered that last question and said that Radiohead would have been the one that like influenced to influence us to be really fearless and include lots of different stuff. The only riff that I can remember is that. I can't remember the name of the song, the, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah, I might be wrong. That's such a tune. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I can remember learning a lot of their, their stuff. <laughs> 